Joining us now is Republican strategist Roger Bob and Roger. It's good of you to join us. Uh, this this news uh, we, we alluded to the fact it's not really a surprise in many respects, but it certainly seems to be greeted with a lot of enthusiasm throughout the Republican Party. Am I correct in that assumption? Absolutely. It, uh, you're absolutely correct in that assumption, Mike. It's, it, it's enormous enthusiasm, and, and it's a great honor for New Jersey. You know, for the governor to, to, to really step onto the national stage, as he will do in, in Tampa, you know, in a couple of weeks, is, is just a great honor for New Jersey, and it's a, it's a great honor for him personally, obviously. And, and I, I fully and completely join in uh, all New Jerseyans in, in congratulating him. What's interesting to me is that in, in the uh, decisions that the party has made and that the Governor Romney has made, with Ryan and now Christie as well. He's chosen two guys who are considered to be intellectually, you know, as good as they come, both very good in terms of speaking as well. Do you think it could have gone six of one, half a dozen of the other, and it could have been Ryan as the keynote speaker and the governor as vice president? Well, you know, I, I never really bought into the governor in, in the vice presidential role for a variety of reasons. One, you know, uh, obviously Governor Romney is from Massachusetts and Christie, of course, from New Jersey. So two Northeast governors sort of from a geographical point of view doesn't really work. You know, and the governor himself has said all along that he's really not a number two kind of guy. I believed him. You know, I think this, uh, uh, I don't know when the, the decision was made with regard to the keynote uh, address for Governor Christie, but I, I'm sure it was made a few weeks back. How does he go about preparing the speech? This can't be a speech to New Jersey, obviously. This is a speech to his party. This is a speech on behalf of his candidate. This is a speech to the country. How much Christie can we actually see? How much can Christie be Christie? Oh, Christie will absolutely be Christie. Or, you know, we, we know him here, but the nation doesn't know him all that well. I mean, his plain spoken ways, the tell it like it is style. I think it's going to be very refreshing. I think he will send a message uh, that, as he said many times, it's not going to be against Obama. It's going to be for Romney. But it'll be basically you can't lead from behind. you got to lead. And I think you'll see that type of theme in this speech. But clearly, it's, a, it's an address to the nation about what's at stake for our country and, and why electing Romney and Ryan is vital. Important. We've seen so many people use this speech as a to catapult themselves to greater political glory. It was 20 right. years ago today, Bill Bradley gave his uh, keynote speech to the Democratic Convention. We've seen uh, uh, President Obama, President Clinton rise from, from this as well to, to higher office. Uh, does and, 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 and Ronald Reagan way back in 1964. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, Barry Goldwater didn't get Governor into, Kane from New Mr. Jersey Mr. in 1988. Right, exactly. And so, but with the Kane thing, you and I talked about last time. Uh, the governor came up against some people, social conservatives in the party, who did not care for him all that much at that convention. Most people did, needless to say. Does right. does Christie have to reach out to the conservative wing of the party in a way that he's never had to reach out to them before? Not at all. Not at all. I don't think you'll see any, any, I was at that 1988 convention. There were some, some minimal protests. Uh, you'll see none of that sort of thing in Tampa, in my opinion. You know, the governor will simply talk about what's important to this, for this nation going forward. And, and, and in terms of deficits, trillion dollar deficits being built up year in, year out, how we can't look to the Europe as an example of where we want to go, clearly. You know, he will talk about fiscal responsibility, bipartisanship, and, and, and what it takes to lead. This will be an address to the nation not to the party, and I think that he will do just a spectacular job with his plain speaking, tell it like it is style. But there are those who say, Roger, you've heard them, that now with these two selections, with Chris Christie and with Ryan, the Romney-Ryan ticket, that Romney himself, he could conceivably be overwhelmed and overshadowed by the two men he surrounded himself with. Do you, do you worry about that, that the man at the head of the ticket might be a bit uh, shadowed by the others? Uh, not in the least. You know, I, you know, he will clearly end this convention on Thursday night with what I'm sure will be a very dramatic uh, speech, uh, Governor Romney. You know, and remember, we have the presidential debates coming up. Uh, you know, one vice presidential, three presidential, if I recall. And uh, there will be all sorts of opportunities for, for Governor Romney to, to shine, to, to, to put forth his message and, and tell the nation that we can do it better. Roger, we have to leave it there. Always a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much for having me, Mike.